Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to take a little break from the fabricating work in the garage, and we're gonna jump on the Coyote and do a little maintenance on the property. Now, you probably see me doing all the work in my garage, and you may wonder, where do I keep my tractors at? I'm sure you've seen that I have uh, the two tractors that I'm gonna be selling on the side of the shipping container here, but I keep my Zero Turn and the Coyote CK in this shipping container right here. And it's a little bit of a tight fit, but uh, you'd be surprised on how much stuff you can actually fit in these things. Uh, this is just a temporary setup that I have here. Eventually I plan on building a pole barn. That's another day. Toward the end of this video, I do wanna take a minute and talk about some of the upcoming videos I'm gonna be doing. I have some really good ideas uh, for some fabricating projects that I'll be doing on the Coyote that I think uh, a lot of you guys might be interested in. Once I get the Keystone Girl to bring me out a beer when I'm all done here today, uh, we can kind of talk about some of that. So make sure you stay with us. Finally! Where the hell have you been? I've been looking for you for two days. I've been in here. What happened? I went to grab something back there and you locked me in. Oh my gosh, what have you been surviving off a of Keystone? It's all I had. Well, it is full of nutrients. It is. Well, go inside and get cooled off. Uh, leave that bikini on though. I'm gonna need a beer later. Sorry about that. Whoops. part of a cab tractor, keeping these windows clean. So I got the brush hog hooked up. This is the Coyote RC 1060. It's a 60 inch brush hog. It's the ideal brush hog for the CK 2610 for the horsepower rating at 26 horsepower. Actually, it's like 24, 25 horsepower. I purchased this from Coyote and it's actually a woods brush hog. Uh, if you have been following along the channel since I started, this was actually my very first video. I did some brush hogging. So today I want to do a little bit more in-depth video of this brush hog. I actually have to do a little bit of brush hogging on my back ditch line. I usually just kind of knock down one side of it just so it looks a little bit nicer. So that's what we're going to work on today. Uh, we're going to test this thing out and I'm also going to demonstrate how this uh, hydraulic top link helps me get that brush hog adjusted down the slope of that ditch and get it mowed down a little bit better. So let's go ahead and head out back and I'll get some cool drone footage for you and we'll see how this thing works.
made quick work of that job. Uh, like always, the Coyote CK2610 does an amazing job. Uh, it can handle any task I throw at it. But like I told you at the beginning of the video, I have a couple things I want to talk about, some upcoming uh, fabricating projects that we're going to be doing on this thing. But first, let's get that Keystone girl out here to bring me a cold one. I never could do that. Hey, Keystone girl, bring me a cold one. Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever loved my country as much as I do right now. America. Now, if you wanna see more of the Keystone Girl in this uh, patriotic bikini here, make sure you subscribe, because we've got a lot more videos coming up where she'll be showing that thing off. So as far as future videos, uh, doing some fabricating work on the Coyote, a couple of the watchers have showed some interest in a custom brush guard. So I am going to be designing and building a brush guard that is a quick attach style, where you could easily remove it, uh, so you would still be able to use your headlights if you're using your tractor at night. So let me know in the comments uh, if that's something that you might be interested in. The other thing is I called Coyote and I've looked on the internet and I'm trying to find an hydraulic quick attach for the front bucket. Something that I could use with my third function. I can't seem to find anything. Coyote doesn't have any options. So I also plan on designing and building uh, some kind of a quick attach uh, for the hydraulics and the third function. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in as well. I can't concentrate with those bazookas over there. <laughs> I love my stars and stripes. I know which one I like more, the stars or the stripes. Uh, someone complain if I put that in there. Yeah. Until hell. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Like always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a ton, gets this video out there so it actually gets viewed. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Did you wave? <laughs> oh, I'm having a horn dick. <laughs> You're. I could just leave you in there right now. You know that. <laughs> it's warm. Well, it's been sitting out too now. It was cold. I thought you were gonna bring, bring me a fresh one. Wow. <laughs> Practice walking away a couple times. Go back to the camera. And... I'm just kidding. I just wanted. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're pretty, honey.